How to use Apollo IO with LinkedIn. Hey everyone, and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you how we can actually go ahead and start using Apollo IO with LinkedIn. Now, there's no straight uh, integration with the two where you will need to obviously connect your account from there. And uh, this, you know, LinkedIn with Apollo and there are go going to be integrated, but rather you can actually go ahead and use special. Um, tools within Apollo that is going to direct us with actions that we can actually uh, do with LinkedIn uh, straight away. So obviously, you should know by now what Apollo is for, you can just go ahead with your email marketing and all of those things. But just go to this page. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for free, get your account, and we can just follow along with these steps. So once you are in your dashboard here, uh, if you go to let's say uh if we find the, the integration step here from the settings you can see there's no actual linkedin integration so don't even think about coming to this place to use linkedin but what we can do is use sequences and this is going to be uh or giving us the option to do the sequence for linkedin right away like without any uh, third party applications or anything is just going to actually work straight into LinkedIn. If you don't know, sequences are pretty much, uh, you could say automations, which are going to be basically steps uh, or workflows that is going to take a first step and then it's just going to send out an email and maybe it's just going to uh, end up with a connection and all of those things. So you can just go ahead and set up a sequence and actually have it work for LinkedIn uh, right from Apollo itself. So let's just show you exactly what I'm try trying to say here. So go to, to sequences here. Uh, let me just remove those. We don't really need them. If I can just remove them from here. Okay, I will need to unlock. Um, okay, never mind. So let me just go ahead and actually uh, create. Can I remove them from here? Archive. Let me just archive them for the time being. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's say uh, we want to start from scratch. Click on new sequence and basically we just want to create a new sequence, nothing special here. And then basically what you would want to do is just start from scratch. Uh, if you want to also go for the rest of them, you can feel free to do so. But, you know, generally speaking, starting from scratch is going to be the best way to do so. So start from scratch and give the sequence a name. So I'm just going to name it test sequence. Uh, and then here we have the schedule that you want to go for. So you can just go ahead and leave it as normal business hours and click on create. So, right, we have our contacts now, activity log settings and so on. And we also can add our first step. Right, so from here, the first thing you, you would generally want to do is just go to contacts here. Uh, and you would want to add contacts to your sequence sorry, to your sequence, meaning those are going to be the people affected with your sequence, they will get the uh, sequence emails and all of those things is going to be affected by it. So we can just go ahead and add contacts and we can just do a prospect search, which we can also do, or we can do uh, upload CSV, or select a list and so on. So you can just add contacts in many different ways. If you go for a prospect search here, obviously you can just go ahead and you do your research, see exactly who, who you want to add to the sequence. It's completely up to you who you want to actually add to the sequence. It's not up to me, but if you want to add just one contact just for the sake of it, so we can just test things out. I'm just going to do this uh, just so at least we have someone. So I'm just going to add myself. Now, obviously you would want to make sure that they have a LinkedIn account. Otherwise, well, the whole LinkedIn thing is not going to work. So here, if you want to add one contact, just for, for the sake of it, you can add their first name, last name, email, uh, job title, if you would like. But most importantly here at the bottom, LinkedIn URL. This is very important. Otherwise, it's not really going to uh, register them as a LinkedIn user and it's not going to send them anything. So once that's done, we can just go ahead and save contact for the time being. This is just a dummy account that I use for these videos. So we can actually go back to um, our sequences now. And we can just go here. Uh, and now we can just go ahead and start with these steps. So go ahead and add the first step. So just click on add a step. 
And then from here, you have all of these options. But if you scroll down a little bit, you will find all the LinkedIn tasks. And this is what I mean by, you know, Apollo is going to allow you to interact with LinkedIn straight, like straight away without any third party applications and without even to have to integrate between them. So you have the ability to send a connection request for LinkedIn users, and you have the ability to send a message, view profile, and interact with uh, with post. So you have all of these options to actually go ahead and set up, uh, and you can actually add them uh, as your steps. So we can just go ahead and start with the first one here, like send connection request, uh, send personalized invitations to connect with contacts for a positive first impression. So we can just go ahead and actually click on that. And then from here, you would obviously want to set up uh, your uh, uh, settings here. So immediately after the contact is added to sequence, uh, or it's actually going to be 30 minutes after, or maybe you can actually make it in hours or even days if you would like. So you can just do two hours after the contact is added. The step will be taken. And then you can assign the task priority, whether it's going to be me medium, low, or high priority, uh, which is just going to give you reference uh, for this step. Uh, and then if you would like to add a note, you can also do so. And we also have advanced settings here, which is going to allow us to automatically skip tasks after due date. So this is going to be automatic if you would like to have it. Usually, uh, what people or when people actually use this, uh, it's when they have a lot of uh, prospects and they just like too many to the point they do they don't really want to just do it manually every single time so maybe just a select few are going to be automatic uh, and you know the rest are just going to be manual but regardless it's completely up to you whether you want to do this or not uh, and I'm just going to actually put it on turn it on and I'm just going to click on continue um yeah, okay so i think did i miss something I'm, I'm not sure here what's happening wait let me just do that again okay so i actually forgot this uh if you make it automatic you will have to actually specify how many days after so i actually did not see this so yeah you can just go ahead and set up how many days after so it's actually going to be automatic after this period of days have uh you know uh went by so we can just click on continue now and it's just going to be uh, um, taking us to this page here. So you can actually go ahead and add your body of text. Uh, let me just go ahead and add text, for example. Uh, I'm not going to save it as template. Then just click on Save Changes. And we have uh, the first step here, which is pretty much good to go. And we can just go ahead and add another step here. You would obviously want to check all of those out. Each one has their own settings. You can actually go ahead and continue, create, create this one, and so on. And this is pretty much how we can actually go ahead and use uh, this. Just go ahead and turn it on. Just, you know, so it's actually going to be turned on now. Just make sure you have your contacts here added. Uh, obviously, I can't really add myself. It's not going to work regardless. Uh, but if you have other people, it's going to work proper. So just make sure you add contacts to this specific sequence. And turn, turn these steps on. Uh, and then you would be able to just have it working. So, yeah. If I even click on it, I think uh, you will you will have the ability to edit them, clone them, or move them uh, you know ahead. So whether it's going to be step one, step two, and so on. But yeah, this is all there is to it. So this is how to actually use Apollo with LinkedIn. You would want to have them as steps and use them like so. So with that being said, hopefully you found this video to be helpful, and thanks for watching.